For many years, doctors have known that screening for certain cancers saves lives. Breast cancer and prostate cancer are two examples. Now you can add lung cancer to that list. The National Lung Screening Trial results show screening people at high risk of lung cancer with CT scans saves lives. Okay, boys, you get in. Jump in. On most days, you can find Sue Schiffler surrounded by her grandchildren. They always say I'm their second mom. These kids are one of the reasons Sue quit smoking. She had a pack-a-day habit for more than 30 years. And my grandkids just say, you know, Grandma, you know, you have to live another 30 years, you know. But she didn't quit soon enough. Ten years after Sue kicked the habit, she entered the National Lung Screening Trial. It revealed a small cancer. This was a study with the CT scanners to see if early detection of lung cancer can save lives. Dr. Steven Swenson and Dr. David Midtoon were investigators in the study, which compared screening for lung cancer in high-risk patients with x-rays versus CT scans. That it showed actual lives were saved, mortality reduction. Fewer people died of lung cancer who got CT screening than got chest x-ray screening. Previous studies have shown that CT scans can find cancers long before they'd show up on x-rays. They can spot cancers as small as a grain of rice. This is the first study that shows finding them early while they're still curable with surgery saves lives. It showed a 20% reduction in mortality or people dying from lung cancer. That statistic means screening would potentially save 30,000 lives a year. But using a CT scanner to screen for cancer isn't perfect. One of the problems is that most abnormalities that show up on CT scans are not cancers. So doctors have to do some sleuthing to figure out which one should be surgically removed. That often involves waiting and screening again months later to see if it grows. It's changed in size and we more closely monitor it. Then biopsy it and, if necessary, remove it. Sue had her cancer surgically removed eight years ago. I'm just so happy that they did find it because I would probably not be here today. <laughs> Almost. Throw them another one. She's sure. still here, cancer-free, and spending nearly every day with her grandkids. Now that the study has shown that CT screening saves lives, the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force and the American Cancer Society will make recommendations as to who should be screened and how often. Dr. Midtoon says even though screening may help save lives, the best way to prevent lung cancer is to not smoke. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.